Welcome to uh, this uh, new tutorial. This is the part two of our tutorial on the radial chart in Tableau. So this is the radial chart and what we're going to do today is we're going to embed a circular map uh, within uh, the radial chart. I'm going to start by creating a new sheet which is map one. Obviously I'm going to input a latitude and longitude here and we're going to zoom in first on the area which is of interest uh, within that project and because we're uh, studying the fund of raising in Europe I'm going to zoom in only on Europe. So first obviously you see that the background is uh, white and it doesn't uh, fit very well with the black background of the original chart so I'm gonna set it to dark here but uh, here everything is gray and it doesn't match with the black background here so what I need to do is first to go in the map layers and to get rid of the base here and everything is now black but I lost um, the borders so which I can put here back so I don't need the name of the of the regions of the country so I'm gonna get rid of that too and I'm also getting rid of the state and province uh, borders so um, I just need now to copy this uh, worksheet here and I'm going to use now Photoshop to create my circular map. So Ctrl N to create a new file here, Ctrl V to uh, paste it. And I'm using this um, circular elliptic uh, tool to select the area which I want to put within um, the radial chart. Um, so here I just need to adjust a little bit on the area which is best for uh, for me so I have a little bit too much of, of Iceland here it's, it's not good enough so I still need to uh, go a little bit more to the west here that should be uh, that should be okay that's that's not bad so here I have everything including Iceland um, and I'm pasting it in a new file and uh, obviously you see there are some uh, white colors here. I'm gonna um, well, adjust a little bit the contrast and, uh, and the light so that the borders are more visible. So I'm just going here. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust the light a little bit and you see not too much. The, the gray pixels of the borders should not become white. I'm going to explain why later. And now we're going to save this as a PNG file. So I'm going to call this map uh, Europe, for instance. Perfect. And I'm going to turn those white angles into a transparent color. I'm using this tool which is online PNG tools here uh, to do that it's pretty easy so I just have to uh, upload and you see immediately I have the new file which I can download it's perfect here just replaced the old file and then what I need to do is I'm just going back to my dashboard from uh, part one and I'm gonna add this uh, new image here so I'm going to fit it, center it, make it to floating. And what you see here is that it fits perfectly. So I just have to adjust here, yes, to the circle. One more time. Yes, and it fits perfectly in there. So obviously that map is a static map. There is nothing I can do with it, nothing that I can select on it. So I need to go back to my map number one. I'm going to add country to detail and the front raised to the size. Yeah, that's perfect. Make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, so now I have the different uh, fronts that have been raised in each country. So obviously if I drag that map onto the dashboard, it won't give a very good result. 
we can try get rid of that first get rid of the title here I'm going to make it floating and obviously what you see here is that well you don't see the map which is just below so yeah nothing you can do uh, with that so here's the trick you go back to map map layers and you're going to untick everything after having changed to light and you're going to yeah, you see you have only now the, the points, basically the dots that you have created before that represent the funds that have been raised. The old boards, everything has been has, has disappeared. So you now to get rid of that white background, just click on known here. And if you go back to the dashboard, just have one more location that I need to fix here. It's Latvia. Perfect. Here we go, and if we go back to the dashboard, yeah, everything is fine. So I just need now to adjust that square to the circle of uh, the radial chart. And now I need to find, um, well, the, the right uh, zoom for all the blue dots so that they can be positioned perfectly on the different countries so that's uh, that's a little bit tricky it takes a few seconds until you find the right combination or the right uh, zoom and pan we're gonna do it right now so that's not bad but it's not perfect uh, let's, uh, so let's, uh, let's give it one more try I'm not entirely satisfied with this one yet So I'm always looking at Lisbon, Portugal to see where the dot should be. And here that's still not perfect. So let's try one more time. That's actually not bad. Everything is pretty much on uh, the country it should be on. Perfect. So let's keep it like this. So I'm going to now get rid of the borders. Here I just uh, go unknown everywhere. Yeah, I know it's, it's very good. And just to avoid that people can pan and zoom, I'm going to deselect that option here. Map options. Perfect. Going back to the dashboard and now I'm going to add a filter to it. And when doing this, what you can do is you can select a country and obviously the radial chart will adapt automatically. It's very nice. And here is what it looks like when it's complete. So I hope that uh, tutorial was um, helpful to you. And uh, if you need any further detail, you will find that in the description. Thank you very much for your attention.